What's up gamers, welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be testing the Samsung Note 20 Ultra. I tested the top 5 graphically intensive games available on Android. These games include PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, Battle Prime, Asphalt 9 Legends, and Lost Light. But before getting straight into the video, if you love to watch this type of informating testing videos, I know that you do. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel right now. Let's get started. So this is the Samsung Note 20 Ultra, SMN9860, which is the variant with the Snapdragon 865, 12GB of RAM, Adreno 650 GPU, and 256GB of storage. And it's running on the latest Android 13. Let's just verify the specs with CPU-Z. Okay, so our first game is PUBG Mobile. I tested this game only at smooth graphics and 90fps. As most gamers would like to play this game at higher frame rates available. I played both TDM and classic matches. Well, if I talk about the performance, the TDM gameplay is quite good. Like I never saw any frames below 80, the lowest FPS in TDM was 83. And I think it's normal for the Snapdragon 865. Ok let's play some classic and see how this device performs. This is a Livic match and I am playing with smooth graphics and 90 FPS. Initially right after the player is out of the plane, we got some FPS drops, but these FPS drops are not important. What we want to see is what will happen to the FPS when we land down there along with so many other players and start fighting. And here we go. FPS dropped two times, but after that, this device restored FPS back to 80 plus, and that's amazing. The classic gameplay is also good, like normally roaming the classic maps does not give FPS problems. I would say PUBG Mobile is running really good. With that being said, let's move towards our next game, which is Battle Prime, tested at max graphics and 60fps. Why I included this game in the test? Because the game has top notch visuals, amazing sound effects and physics. If I talk about the FPS I am getting here, it's amazing, most of the time FPS is constant at around 59 and 60. Can you please count my kill streak? Ok, it's time to test our next game, the Call of Duty Mobile, which I tested at max graphics and 60 FPS. As compared to PUBG, this game has low FPS drops, like I have played this game for some time and I never faced any FPS issues on my personal phone which has the Snapdragon 855. This game is well optimized and is running beautifully in our Samsung Note 20 Ultra. 
Now let's test the battle royale mode. And I think if multiplayer runs smoothly, the battle royale mode would not be an issue for this device. As you can see that the FPS is stable around 60. Ok, so you got the idea how Call of Duty Mobile run on this device. Let's test the next game, Asphalt 9 Legends, which I tested at max graphics and 60 FPS. No doubt in the quality graphical visuals of this game, I thought this game needs to be tested here, and here it is. But the Samsung Note 20 Ultra is beautifully handling this game. Most of the time FPS is stable around 58 and 60, which is good. Ok, it's time to test our last game, it's called Lost Light. I tested this game at max graphics and 60 fps. This is a progression type online fps with clean and high quality graphics. And here it is running at our Samsung Note 20 Ultra. Due to the high latency, I was unable to play this game properly. Unlike the other games that I tested earlier, this game has FPS drops. At some places, I was losing around 17 FPS. I would say that among all the tested games, this is the game in which I found performance issues. Enough talk about the performance. Now it's time to elevate the phone battery performance as well. I started my test one hour ago, fixed at 9 am, and now it's 10.04 on the phone's clock. It's a straight one hour of gaming. Initially I had 84% of battery which is now down to 56% in 64 minutes. That's a 28% decline. Battery drain speed is 0.43% per minute which is high. According to my mathematical calculations the estimated battery life of this device is more than 3 hours while gaming and discharging the battery from 100%.